These are Canadian Individual Meal Packs, or IMPs, and they come in 18 different menus. Menus 1 through 6 being breakfast, and you've got menus 7 through 12 for lunch, and then menus 13 through 18 for dinner. So if we're going to be doing this right, you want to have one breakfast, one lunch, and one dinner menu. So we're going to be first starting off with menu number one. For breakfast, it'll be sausage and hash browns, and then a hamburger for lunch, and then we got some poutine for dinner. And for anybody who doesn't know what poutine is, we'll be fine now here soon enough. Okay, so let's first start off with that sausage and hash browns. You know, I really like how there's an adequate amount of breakfast menus for these IMPs. Six breakfast menus opposed to the USMRE, literally only two for two whole cases, if I'm not mistaken. And I love how the inside is that foil. I mean, these things are pretty well waterproof. It's not just a paper outer covering. You this paper, and under that, this very soft waterproof foil. Oh, there's the main sausage and hash browns. Check out those nutrition facts. Shelf stable hamburger bun. Oh, that's that's pretty neat. Wild berry yogurt protein drink. All right, so <laughs> yeah, milk protein concentrate and egg whites. I mean, it's a fair 19 grams of protein, only 0.3 grams of fat. That's pure protein. Oh, you got strawberry jam, creamer, sugar, matches. Oh, look at that blueberry apple cereal. Yeah, not bad. Simple ingredients, decent nutrition facts. Yeah, you have some excellent breakfast items in here. Oh, some ketchup, some hot sauce, peanut butter. And then here's the beverage bag. You got some icebreaker frost mints. And you got two fruit punch sports drinks. Yeah, moist towelette, espresso roast coffee. And you got some sliced peaches. Spoon. And a huge paper towel. Looking pretty good. And considering this thing doesn't come with a flameless ration heater, I'm going to be boiling this in the bag. And the recommended time with these pouches, five minutes. So we'll get that heated up. And the rest of this, you know, will be um, really looking good if we can get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, first get this heated up. And while that's doing its thing, all right, so let's first check out that fruit punch. Let me try out this beverage bag. These things are so handy. You can stand it up. It has its own little pouch stand at the bottom. And um, a lot more handy and more practical than the U.S. beverage bag. Oh, wow. The fruit punch definitely has a strong and sweet tropical fruit kind of smell to it. All right, now let's check out that espresso roast coffee. Very fine granule. It's almost like a powder. Get the creamer on it. Okay, so we're gonna check out this blueberry apple cereal. Oh wow, that is pretty cool. Look at that, that milk is blue, right on. Cool, that looks fantastic. We still got this yogurt protein drink. Okay, so it says to add cold water to that line. Let's do that. It definitely has a nice blueberry yogurt kind of smell to it. Okay. Oh, that smells absolutely amazing. It has a nice wild berry. It smells like fresh yogurt. That's incredible. Look at that. Literally some instant yogurt. It truly has the look and smell of it. That looks fantastic. That's impressive. You know, this here has to be one of the most interesting things I've seen in a ration. Mm. And it tastes just like fresh yogurt. It's just like a, a very mm, creamy, rich, wild berry yogurt. And it's incredible because that's pure protein. That is literally just pure egg white and whey and milk protein concentrate. So let's check out this uh, blueberry cereal right now. Mm. While wow, that was still good and hot, it literally tastes like blueberries and milk with a fresh, high quality oatmeal cereal. It's lightly sweet. You know, those rolled oats, good stuff. Okay, we're gonna check out the sliced peaches next. Oh, those look perfect. See, when an IMP is nice and fresh, has a three year shelf life, okay, these things they contain 1,200 calories each. Pretty much the same thing as an MRE, but without the flameless ration heater. 
Oh wow, check that out. Oh, that looks and smells absolutely delicious. It smells like a freshly cooked meal. There's nothing artificial smelling about it. That's the part I love. It doesn't even smell metallic. See, I didn't heat it for very long. I didn't get it like super piping hot. I just got it nice and hot before it's like to the point where it's making that metallic flavor. You gotta be careful about that with IMPs. Or when you boil those pouches, they can, um, they can get pretty gnarly after about five minutes. Your food will taste metallic. Nice little desiccant pack a shelf-stable hamburger bun. This is a feat of food engineering as far as I'm concerned. When something can be this normal, truly amazing. And with that hamburger bun, there's not much I can put on it. It's not like I've got a hamburger. So why not make a nice field PB&J? Because it just seems like the right thing to do. Nice little glob of peanut butter, for starters. Mm, that's some really sweet strawberry jam. All right, so let's check out that main course. Looking pretty good. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, the sausage, that like melts in your mouth. That's like super soft. Okay, the potatoes, they don't taste weird in process. That's kind of cool. That's actually, wow. I've had IMPs in the past and um, the breakfast, I remember there used to be like an omelet with salsa or something. That was pretty gnarly. Let's check out this ketchup. I think this is going to make this one heck of a breakfast. You know, if I had this out in the field, you know, I'd be pretty happy. It has a very nice, lightly smoky, salty, savory, very soft, very tender. And these potatoes, I'm just going to try one on its own. Again, very soft. I mean, it's weird how fresh they taste. It, and there's a slight oily, yeah, you can see the oil residue on the tray. Mmm. It's like literally greasy. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is seriously, this actually is the best retort pouch ration breakfast ever had. I mean, it really is. This is no doubt the best. I mean, <laughs> that ketchup with it, that's kind of cool. I mean, leaps and bounds from, say, MRE ketchup from 1982. I mean, like, see, it, they even called it catsup dehydrated. That's from an MRE, powdered ketchup. Nowadays, <laughs> in this ration at least, actually some real ketchup. I mean, when you're having something like that out in the field, that's like a taste of home. This is comfort food. And it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, there's even grease. That's fantastic. And let's check out some more of that yogurt. Look at the consistency. I mean, just look at that yogurt. Cool. Mm. Can't understand how something like that, so delicious, could be in a ration. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Check out that espresso. Actually, that's, wow. You know, just using a little bit less water, like four ounces here. That was the, that was the way to go. It doesn't need creamer. It's very smooth. Huh. I can imagine it being even stronger and even more like just straight up espresso. If you set, if say you used um, two ounces of water instead of four, or even better, just one, one ounce, that'd be perfect. Oh yeah, get another bite of this. Mm. I gotta say that, and then that yogurt, what a surprise. You know, being able to have something like say this oatmeal with the blueberry milk. I mean, oats and blueberries with some nice dried milk. That's perfect for breakfast. Seven grams of protein there. Mm, even more pure protein with that yogurt, which I cleaned up. That was one of the best things I ever had in a ration. Mm. And I can't forget about these peaches. They look perfect. Nice. Mm. And they are. I mean, the consistency and texture of these peaches and that light syrup. I mean, it's not just ordinary canned peaches. They're of, they're of uh, definite high quality. That Red Hot, it has just more flavor than it is just spicy. Mmm. The Red Hot goes very well with that ketchup. Doesn't conflict. It's not overly um, strong with vinegar. That, that was actually kind of a nice surprise. Having the two of them together was not overpowering. So now let's check out an MRE PB&J. Or well, IMP PB&J. Mmm. No, you know, it's just a little too dry. It needs more strawberry jam. Mmm. Still good, but it calls for trying out that fruit punch drink. Pretty sure that's well mixed up. Love how it can stand up on its own. Super handy. So let's check this out. Oh wow, it smells good. Very strong. Oh wow, that's a very tangy fruit punch. Not overly sweet. I didn't expect that. You know, that was actually some of the better fruit punch flavored drink mix that I've had. Mm. This is amazing. I'm gonna finish this up and then later today I'm gonna be having some lunch. Let's go do that. All right, for lunch, we've got that hamburger. 
This should be good. Shell stable hamburger. All right, right off the bat, got that burger. Check that out, 27 grams of protein. And we got a bean salad. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And we got a hamburger bun. Reese's Pieces, check that out. That's an interesting Canadian government packaging for Reese's Pieces. Beverage bag, mustard, fruit punch drink, espresso coffee, creamer, more of those icebreaker frost mints. Oh, nice. Nescafe vanilla cappuccino mix. Cool. Another one of those fruit punches. Peanut butter. Got some red hot moist towelette. Spoon and napkin. And some sugar and matches. Okay, so what I want to do is pop these things into some boiling water for about five minutes. And, um, huh, look at that thing. It is literally a hamburger. That is super cool. You know this bean salad, I'm going to heat it. We'll see if it's better heated or cold. I'm gonna take the risk and heat it up. And that being said, let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, so I wanna get that on that bun real quick. These shelf-stable buns are fantastic. I mean, it smells perfect, it doesn't smell weird. It just seems like a nice grocery store bought hamburger bun. I wonder how long the shelf life would be on these max shelf life. I mean, they say the IMP's max shelf life is about three years, so maybe it could last five or maybe even 10 years, that, that bun in this burger, potentially. Who knows? <laughs> it even has a little sear marks. Okay, so let's check out the bean salad real quick next. Then we'll throw that ketchup and mustard on that burger. I didn't want to heat these a whole lot. Just get them lightly heated. You could definitely eat that cold. Wouldn't be all that bad. Check that out. Okay, real quick, I wanna throw all these together. Because this espresso and vanilla cappuccino, you could have these on their own. I'm gonna put them together. That's the way to go. It's gonna give this the kick that it needs. Yeah, because there's really not much actual coffee. Throw these in there too. Every calorie counts. That looks good. Look at that nice little foam on the top of it. That's decent. And some mustard. Okay, so I wanna actually check out those Reese's Pieces real quick too. Yeah, they're just Reese's Pieces. Check out that coffee. Pretty much a vanilla latte. Cappuccino. Mmm. Oh wow. That's strong. That's delicious. That is the way to do it. You combine those together, you have huh, a real coffee. Otherwise, it'd be you just kind of shortchanging yourself if you don't combine those two. That's the way to do it. Actually, let's check out this bean salad. Oh wow. This has a sweet vinegar smell to it. And the flavor is wow, hold on. Mmm. And the flavor, it's lightly sweet. It's pretty mild. Mm, yeah, this is delicious. Vinegar and garlic flavor with the corn and carrots. <laughs> this is like a delicious, almost Mediterranean style. Mm, but it's not overly exotic or anything. But this still, it's not boring. I'll say that. Mm, that's delicious. Great side. Plenty of fiber. You're gonna need it. All right, let's check out this burger. Look at that. I think this is the first time I've ever had any sort of military ration burger. Literally. Mm. You know... That definitely has an MRE flavor to the meat, but mm, it's not bad. Wow. Canadian IMP hamburger. I mean, this is amazing, really. The bun, the ketchup, and mustard are the most normal tasting thing. The meat really kind of has the same flavor as in a US MRE maple sausage patty, followed up with some awesome coffee. Kind of feel like I'm in a diner. This is quite the meal. Gotta say, IMPs, they've really stepped up their game <laughs> Lunch is a hit. The IMP hamburger, well, I gotta say, in terms of this food, you know, actually tasting relatively normal, I mean, the only thing I would say totally seems like a military ration item is the hamburger, the flavor of that. And with that being said, let's take it over to dinner. Okay, and for dinner, we got that poutine. Let's check this out. 
Okay, so right off the bat, you got that poutine. So essentially poutine, french fries, topped with cheese curds, and a light brown gravy. Okay, so espresso roast coffee, orange pico tea bag, and some ketchup for that poutine, and hot sauce, peanut butter, strawberry jam, nice. <laughs> Fruit punch again. So menus one, seven, and 13 all have fruit punch. That's good to keep in mind. And get some beef jerky. And a pack of M&M's. Tortillas, some more of those icebreaker frost. Matches, sugar, two creamers, spoon and wet nap, and some sliced apples. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Got this poutine. Got that. Let's see what we got here. Looking pretty good. You know, I wonder if this IMP version of this poutine is going to hold up to the name of this French Canadian classic. Because you know, if it does, that'd be pretty nice. And I want to first start off with that espresso roast and orange pico. You know, with this espresso roast, to actually do some proper espresso, I am going to just give maybe a shot of water here. That looks like espresso right there. Not bad. And that tea. And some M&Ms. You know, the peanut butter and jelly. I'm not sure what you're going to put that on other than the tortilla. And use both creamers for the orange pico. It tends to have a little bit more tannic acid than I like to um, really deal with in a tea. Say English breakfast or even Earl Grey. A little bit more mild than orange pico. So to balance out that the tannins, definitely add a little bit of creamer. Smooths it out. Help really smooth it out. Not bad. All right, let's check out this sliced apples in a light syrup. Oh, that smells nice. Okay. Check out the beef jerky. Mm, it smells pretty good. And that poutine. See how this turns out. Oh wow, it really is french fries and a light brown gravy. Look at that. Oh wow, okay, so there's chicken in with this. See, I didn't, I didn't realize this was, um, I didn't even check the actual ingredients on that to see that there was chicken in there as well. Cool, look at that. All right, I'm going straight for one of these weird french fry things. Check that out. Mmm, wait, that's... It's kind of weird in texture. I mean, I'm expecting a French fry that's, you know, fried. I mean, it's just potato. It's like cut in the shape of, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of strange. I mean, it don't taste like French fries. It's just French fry shaped potato cubes, essentially. It tastes like canned potato soup cubes, pretty much, but just longer, larger pieces of them. Hmm. With a light, mild brown gravy. And the chicken is really dry. You'd think the chicken would be moist. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's not going down very easily. I'll say that. Wow. Hmm. Well, I didn't expect that at all. But, um, it's not very good. Believe it or not. Well, hmm. You know, that's, uh, well, that's a rarity. Let's, uh, let's doctor this up with some ketchup. We'll throw these on there. That's seriously only enough peanut butter and strawberry jam for um, one tortilla. I have no idea what else I would have done with this unless I just ate the uh, jam and peanut butter out of the pouch. All right, well, <laughs> there you have it right there, um, poutine. It's, um, it's weird. I mean, I don't think this is like traditional poutine whatsoever. I just have this feeling that this here is like a real... Oh, wow. I just hit... Was that chicken? I just hit something really rubbery and bizarre. Mmm. Yeah. It's this thing. Um, what is that? <laughs> it says here it's cheese. I literally have no idea what that is. I mean, I, I guess those are the cheese curds. And it's like, I mean, well, there's some chicken, and there's cheese curd, and then there's a fry. Alright, so like, there you go. Oh, that's one of the weirdest things. Mm. I mean, usually I like this stuff. That's just not my thing. It's a texture clash, and, and the cheese curds have the weirdest texture. 
if those are even cheese curds. I, I thought they were mushrooms. I wasn't even sure what they were. And when you don't know what something is, that's never really a good sign. Hmm. Peanut butter and jelly burrito. What was I thinking? I mean, what? Uh, there's not much. You know, it's really actually not that bad. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, now this smells delicious. That'll perk up your day. Hmm. Wow, that's nutty. A light acidity. It's not bitter whatsoever. Well, I'll be quality espresso. I want that last drop. Nice. That's strong quality espresso. You know, it's just kind of a shame about this poutine thing. That light gravy totally tastes like canned soup. Oh, it doesn't even smell good. That's that's just weird. I mean, it really doesn't. Might as well go for some apples. Kind of hoping. Jeez, eh, if I can get one on the spoon. There we go. Just some standard. Mm. Well, that's tender and lightly sweet. Mm. <laughs> Let's check out this beef jerky. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it. Wow. Usually I like a ration. This is, um, mm. I'd definitely be trading this poutine for something else out of the 18 menus if I had to. This is your ration and you're hungry. That's one thing. I mean, heck, I would, I would find this to be absolutely delicious every last bit of this thing if I had to survive off it. 1,200 calories of goodness, if that's the case. But uh, for my dinner just here at home, eh, it's not bad. You know, I've had worse. But I kind of had high hopes for my first time having poutine. If anybody here can tell me where to get some really good poutine, that'd be kind of cool. And check it out, you know. But in the meantime, I'm just going to have to eat a peanut butter and jelly burrito and make the best of life. All right, this is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com. Hope you guys liked the video. I'll be coming back at you with something new. World. All right, cool. See ya.